charcoal. It's not just for your weird uncle who is too protective of his outdoor grill. Nowadays, we are blessed with an abundance of charcoal. From charcoal burger buns to charcoal lemonade, charcoal toothpaste, hand soap, shampoo, and even super cool leg masks that are great for the gram. There's no question that charcoal is super hot right now, but like, what's so great about it? The charcoal craze seems even crazier when you realize that we literally get charcoal by burning stuff. For real. No, for real, for real. Charcoal is simply the burnt remnants of anything that's carbon-based. And when we're talking about this stuff in food and beauty products, we're talking about activated charcoal. It's made by burning plants like bamboo at really high temperatures and turning into a very fine powder, which is key to making it activated. The finer the powder, the more porous the charcoal is. And more pores mean a more absorbent, super-powered soot. Another important element of the fine powder is more surface area, which helps generate more dispersion forces. Ooh, dispersion forces. So sexy, right? I know, I know. Your eyes might start glazing over because of all this science talk, but this is actually pretty important because dispersion forces are literally what holds everything together on a molecular level. So, when dispersion forces are paired with all of the supercharged nooks and crannies and the fine powder, this allows the activated charcoal to absorb a whole lot of stuff. Remember that classic clapback we all used to say as a kid? I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. Well, all those tiny grains of activated charcoal are like little globs of glue. And anything that it touches bounces off and sticks to the charcoal. This is why charcoal gets so much hype for being a detoxifying ingredient. Heck, it's even been used to treat cases of poisoning and drug overdoses dating all the way back to the 1800s. Many people believe that charcoal's ultra-absorbent properties are beneficial for skin and hair by grabbing onto excess oil and dirt and not letting go when you rinse it off. Plus, since charcoal is pretty gentle, skin irritation from it is pretty rare. After all, it is just burnt up carbon, the same stuff we're made of. It's also relatively inexpensive. And who doesn't love balling on a budget? But for all you sensitive skin people out there, be sure to do a patch test first, just to make sure you're not one of the few who don't vibe with the activated charcoal. So when you're looking to splurge on a new beauty product, pick a mask over a cleanser. Just like with most things in life, you should be thinking outside the box with your activated charcoal experiences. Specifically, you should be thinking outside your face box, because the rest of your body could use a deep clean too. And when you think about all the questionable places you sit and all the dirt your shoes kick up from the street, a charcoal leg mask from Nair seems almost essential to your beauty routine. The formula lets you skip shaving and keep your leggies smoother longer as it moisturizes and illuminates skin. When's the last time a razor did that for you? The answer is never. That has never happened. Besides, we could all use five to 10 minutes of straight up chill time, am I right? Sure, it probably never occurred to you that you might need a leg mask, but we're leveling up our self-care game, okay? 100% natural clay mask with 0% razor bumps I mean, come on, it's definitely the IT product for summer 2019. Listen, despite our constant best efforts to not be covered in dirt and grime 24 seven, we are still human and we still get gross from time to time. But now that you know that there's charcoal leg masks, charcoal sponges, charcoal ice cream, cocktails, sheet masks, and really the list goes on for seemingly forever. But now that you know about them, might want to think about trying some of these things out if you haven't already. We could all stand to be just a little bit cleaner at the end of the day. Thanks for watching Pretty Smart. Be sure to subscribe for more episodes.